Hi guys, this is Prompt Engineer. How about a realistic makeover for this model? Cool. How about this model? Pretty good. We're gonna look at 10 such use cases. To get started with all these, we need to go to Adobe's Creative Cloud, sign in with an account, download the desktop app, open the app, go to the beta apps, install the Photoshop beta, and then let's get started. You need to put in your credit card information for the trial. So this is the Photoshop. We take our picture. This is a bunch of apples. We take the lasso tool. Using the lasso tool, we select the apple along with the shadows completely to replace the apple with another fruit. After selection, we click on generative fill, type in orange and click on generate. Wait for the results. It might take about 10 seconds for the result to appear. Let's look at the result. Not good, not good. I kind of like this one, but let's keep this third one. Then again, we go to the lasso tool and now we select this apple along with the shadows. This time, let's change it to a pear. So we click on generative fill, type in pear and click on generate. And we have this beautiful pear. <laughs> okay, I think this second one is good. So this is the difference you know the shadows and everything just blends in right let's look at another one let's go to change expressions uh, try to change expression for this model select the entire face using the lasso tool again oops select again the entire face using lasso tool and type smiling face and click on generate smiling face let's see the output i don't like this because it has changed the entire face structure of the person it is a different it's a completely different person so let's delete this layer I don't like this output let's take the lasso tool again and select the lower portion of the face for now smile generate I think this time it should give an output that is good that is considerable uh, not bad not bad kind of like this one I'm gonna keep this hide this uh, layer and again click the lasso tool select the area and go for an angry face now click on generate and let's wait for the angry face to appear you can play around with oh I don't like it no this kind of good so let's keep this these two images the normal happy and angry we can export this as images so let's export it and the happy face we export the happy face as well so a side by side comparison will be very good so this is the side by side comparison just give me a moment okay these are the side by side comparison that's pretty cool happy angry and normal let's move on can't wait the third example is expand or extend the scenario. This is a beautiful picture. Click on C to enter the crop mode. Increase the area. Then click on select all to select everything. Then click on the rectangular marker tool. Hold down alt and select the area. So it is going to create or extend the field. That's pretty good. The three variations are almost equal, good, but I'm gonna keep the first one. Again, click on C, extend this, press Ctrl A to select everything, then click on the rectangle marker tool, hold down Alt and select this to minus, and then click on generate. You don't need to put in any command for this because it automatically uses the generative fill without any command. It knows what to do. It's pretty good. Uh, do you continue it one more time? No. Let's remove this house. Okay, we need to put in the shadow as well. So hold shift and then select. It will select the entire thing. Click on generate. We're going to remove this house, including the shadows. 
Let's see the output. Just hold on. Two seconds. That's pretty good. It has removed the shadows as well. The three variations are good. I'm gonna keep this one. Next, uh, let me zoom in and let's see. We have this transmission tower. I want to remove this. So again, let me go to the lasso tool and select everything including the shadow and just click on generate. Hopefully it will remove the transmission tower as well. Guys, are, are you liking the style of presentation? Please comment on the comment section. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. So these are the layers. Initially, we had this and then we extended two times. We removed the house, removed the transmission towers, save this as image to have a quick side by side comparison. Now this is the extended image. That is pretty good. Let's move on to the next one. I hope you will like the next one as well. Let's get started. We have this image. There is a select sky. So it will automatically select the sky for you. Click on generate fill. Aurora sky. Okay. Um, let's see the output of the Aurora sky. That is pretty good. We have the three variations. If you don't like the variations, you can click on generate and again go for the new variations. For now, let me just keep this and let me select this area using the lasso tool again. I want to make this a lake. Oh, this area, we need to select this area as well. Let's generate a lake, generate a fill, lake and generate. Wait for the results to show up and then we are going to perhaps build our draw a moon i like this image this is pretty good the lake is pretty clear the reflections are visible uh let me keep this one let's draw a moon generate fill bright crescent moon generate just wait for it and let me see the results oh uh, no no yes uh, let me keep this one uh, full noon let me create a yacht here yacht costly yacht just wait for it some user violation let's go with yacht okay not possible let's go with boat maybe this time it should be possible i don't know why yacht is not allowed i don't know please mention in the comment section if you have any idea of that but that is pretty absurd so these are the boats I kind of like this one really blends in export this image and this is a side by side comparison before after and that is pretty good pretty good the reflections are pretty good and the shadows absolutely mesmerizing let's move on let's generative fill and increase a little bit of the on the edges generative fill this image and then we are going to give a makeover to this model okay so let's zoom in and uh, put in a necklace here using the lasso tool princess necklace just wait for it guideline violation i don't know let's type something else perhaps a pearl necklace guideline violation just a necklace guideline violation oh my god ornament i think this should work okay these are the variations let me keep this one let's zoom in and uh, put in a sunglass select the area and type in sunglasses and click on generate wait for the results let's see the power of photoshop this time whether it is able to create a sunglass under the hair oh my god this is pretty awesome i kind of like the third one better let's keep it this is the change absolutely stunning stunning i would say we don't have time to wait let's move on with the next example 
we take this young man and we're going to select the area and bodybuilder let's transform him to a bodybuilder that's pretty good let's keep this one and i think the face is a little bit distorted so let's change the face a little bit go to lasso select this area and type in human face click on generate and let's see the output oh this is good this is good okay we have something blue here uh, let's select on the cheek and human cheek oh my god what is this okay the third one is good so i think this is done select the area and invert the area selection and click on gym here let's create a gym i think this is good okay let's finalize this and this is the side by side comparison of the original and the created image let's move on don't have time to wait the next is this stunning model on a beach select this subject long dress let's see the output i think no it has changed the entire person i'm just gonna delete this layer i'm just gonna do it manually select the lasso tool and the area where you want your top to be or the t-shirt click on generative fill type top and generate let's see the output not bad not bad very good i'm gonna select this one and now we are going to create a skirt maybe so select this area and skirt generate just wait for it this is pretty good pretty good i'm gonna select the first one this is pretty good so this is a side-by-side -side comparison absolutely beautiful let's give a makeover to this model let's put in a top the model has hair on her right shoulder so it's going to be a little bit tricky but not for photoshop ai because it is absolutely stunning let's put in a skirt here we have the hand but no problem for the photoshop ai because it blends perfectly i'm gonna keep this skirt let's do a little bit more makeover let's put in a necklace here just wait for it pretty good chain chain is pretty good let's put in a earring let's see the magic Oh my god this is absolutely amazing next uh, let us change the hair color to a blonde maybe and let's see the magic here oh my god this is done let's put in a bracelet let's put in some tattoos on the hand i kind of like this one let's put in a tattoo on the leg absolutely good absolutely beautiful side by side comparison absolutely amazing but i kind of like the first one better if you know what i mean the next is the lion eating pizza you can create an entire photo using just a prompt so just a generative fill lion eating pizza and you get this images if you don't like you click on generate and get new variations but this is absolutely amazing next we like to create some hair for this let's wait for it uh, it's okay let me try to generate a few more oh uh, i kind of like the older one so let's keep it this is how we can change the hair this is perfect absolutely natural but i kind of still like the first one <laughs> let's move on to the next examples here we're gonna look at this image we are going to select this area put in a dog here select more variations generate more variations i kind of like this furry one 
and so it is a side by side comparison of the images absolutely stunning so thanks for watching if you like this video go ahead and subscribe that's all have a nice day this is your host prompt engineer until then next time